I am Satosh Gayanka. Today I am teaching you mechanics of material in that one torsion. This is the second problem I am solving. This is the formula for the torsion. Find the maximum torque that can be applied safely to a shaft having a diameter of 300 mm. Diameter is given data. Diameter 300 mm. What we have to find out here? Find torque T we have to find out. The permissible angle of twist in a length of 7.5 meter. Length is given 7.5 meter has to be converted into in terms of mm 7.5 into 1000. It has to be 7500 mm is 1.5 degree theta is given 1.5 degree has to be converted in terms of radian multiply by pi by 180 and this would be 0 0.02617 radian radian and the shear stress shall not exceed 42 newton meters mm square that means shear stress tau is given you can write tau max also 42 newton per mm square g is equal to 84.4 kilo newton per mm square it has to be converted into newton per mm square 84.4 into 10 raised to 3 kilo indicate 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. What we have to find out? We have to find out the torque. We have to find out the torque. This is the formula for torsion right here. T divided by JP is equal to tau divided by R G theta divided by L. G theta by L. Now here, first we have to find out the torque with the combination of theta next with the combination of shear stress then you have to analyze the both the result and you have to select the smallest torque first i'm going for the combination of t and g theta that means torque torque by considering torque by considering permissible permissible angle of of twist the combination first t divided by jp is equal to g theta divided by l further t is equal to g theta divided by l into jp now it is a solid shaft it is a solid shaft because the single diameter is given. If the two diameter is given in terms of internal diameter and external diameter, you have to go for the hollow. It is a now as per this question, it is a solid. For JP for solid is polar moment for uh, solid is pi divided by 34 into d raised to 4. This is the formula we have to substitute here. Now t is equal to g value is 80. 0.4 into 10 raised to 3 theta value is this is the theta value 0 0.02617 2617 divided by L is 7500 into pi divided by 34 uh, sorry it is 32 not the 34 okay it is 32 pi divided by 32 into d raised to 4 pi divided by 32 the diameter is diameter is 300 raised to 4 300 raised to 4 if you calculate the answer is t is equal to 234.19 into 10 raised to 6 newton mm newton mm torque has to express in terms of newton mm 
Now torque by considering the permissible angle of twist. Second, torque by considering permissible shear stress. Torque by considering considering permissible permissible shear stress. Now based upon the shear stress, that means the combination of these two. Write the formula T is equal to JP into tau divided by R, where T is equal to tau divided by R into JP. What is R? R is nothing but T by 2. Substitute here. Tau is given here 42 divided by D is 300 divided by 2. Polar moment of inertia formula is pi divided by 32 into d raised to 4. Pi divided by 32 into d raised to 4 that is 300 raised to 4. Calculate you will get the answer the t answer 222.66 into 10 raised to 6 Newton mm. Now we have obtained the two results. Torque based upon the angle of twist, torque based upon the shear stress. See the answer. How to suggest torque? Smallest torque. The reason is as the torque is smaller, the life of the shaft will be larger. Life of the shaft will be larger. Thus, thus smaller, smaller value of torque is the permissible value permissible value therefore t is equal to 222.66 into 10 raised to 6 newton mm i am sundar gangkar thank you very much